Bill O'Reilly here, Monday, June 15th, 2020. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. Atlanta's top cop resigns after another deadly shooting. Black Lives Matter receives millions in new donations. The UK Prime Minister warns Brits to avoid race protests. Cases of COVID spike in some parts of the USA. Governor Cuomo threatening to bring back the quarantine for New York. Also ahead, do you realize your freedom of speech is in peril? But first, Atlanta Chief of Police Erica Shields stepping down just one day after police shot and killed a black man outside a Wendy's restaurant. One officer has been fired and another placed on desk duty. Protesters blocked one of the busiest highways in Georgia, after burning down the Wendy's restaurant. The Black Lives Matter movement raising more than $100 million from multiple sources, including the Ford Foundation and George Soros' Foundation. The money now being funneled into the, quote, Black-Led Movement Fund, a group working to advance the cause of young black gay feminists and immigrants. Lots of money. Who will account for it? British Prime Minister Boris Johnson urging folks to stay away from the race protests, saying the events have been, quote, hijacked by extremists intent on violence. Demonstrators vandalized dozens of statues in London, including a monument to Winston Churchill in Parliament Square. Police boarded up the memorial to prevent further damage. New outbreaks of COVID strike Florida, Texas, Alabama, Oklahoma, and South Carolina, all of those states report a record number of cases over the weekend. There were 25,000 additional infections in 30 states on Saturday alone, the highest since May 2nd. The contagion has killed 118,000 people in the USA in less than four months, and now with all the reopenings, there is worry. Governor Cuomo threatening to shut down sections of Manhattan and the Hamptons, after his office received 25,000 complaints about social distancing and the like. The governor reacting to images of New Yorkers publicly drinking on the sidewalks and in the parks, warning he could bring back the quarantine if people defy the rules. In a moment, freedom of speech under assault. We'll spell it out next. Two guys, Kyle and Josh, were both losing their hair, which was no surprise to either, since they knew male pattern baldness ran in their families. The way they dealt with their hair loss, however, couldn't have been more different. Kyle put it off, losing more and more hair. Josh went right to Keeps.com to learn how to keep his hair. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA-approved hair loss products out there. The genetic version saved Josh a lot of money, and the consultation was simple. He answered a few questions online and snapped a few pictures of his hair. A doctor then evaluated everything and recommended the right FDA-approved hair loss treatment for Josh. It was shipped discreetly to his door. Keeps lets you save your hair without ever leaving your home. Please go to keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bill to get your first order of Keeps hair loss treatment 50% off. Half off. That's keeps.com slash bill. Keeps.com slash bill. Time now for the O'Reilly Update. Message of the day, freedom of speech under fire. There is a big chill descending on freedom of expression in America. A few examples. Liberal journalists at the Philadelphia Inquirer and the New York Times recently lost their jobs because they were not liberal enough. The successful cable show Live PD was canceled by the Arts and Entertainment Network because of anti-cop fervor. And the legendary movie Gone with the Wind has been banished by HBO because it's, quote, racist. And that's just a small sample of the Stalinist thought terror presently enveloping the country. Everyone's scared. The totalitarian left, using the brutal police slaying of George Floyd, has basically told American corporations that they will be branded racist, 
if they allow any criticism of the far-left agenda. A vivid example is the vicious Media Matters organization threatening companies that advertise on Tucker Carlson's Fox News program. Media Matters, heavily funded by far-left zealots like George Soros, accuses Mr. Carlson of white supremacy. Disney, T-Mobile, and Papa John's Pizza canceled sponsorship last week. We can expect much more of this as the Stalinists understand it is their time. The rush on the part of corporate America to virtue signal, that is, present themselves as champions of social justice and change, means any dissent from the Black Lives Matter agenda will not be tolerated. We have never seen this before in America, at least on this kind of scale. Individuals are losing jobs and careers simply for expressing honest beliefs. Even in the 1950s, when the communist witch hunt was underway, you didn't have this kind of assault on personal freedom across the board. Twitter and social media are largely responsible. In a blink, any American can be labeled a racist without a shred of evidence. And who will defend that person? No one. Because if you do, you become a racist or a misogynist or a nationalist. The radical playbook written by Saul Alinsky is now dominating the media. There are currently phrases like, all lives matter, that absolutely cannot be said. I never thought I would see freedom of expression crushed in my country. But that's what's happening. We do need honest reform to help Americans, especially minorities, who are not treated fairly. That can happen using robust debate and the exchange of effective ideas. That's the improvement process a free and mature society uses. But the totalitarian left does not want a free society because things like the election of Donald Trump happen in it. No, the radicals want to shut down opposing points of view and punish opponents. It is obvious corporate America is surrendering to the totalitarians and many in the media are enabling the suppression of freedom by cheering on far-left actions. I'm Bill O'Reilly, and I approve that message by writing it. For more news analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com for honest reporting. In a moment, something you might not know. You know me as a news guy, but today I'm a science guy. I've accumulated my share of aches and pains over the years, which started my quest for a natural solution. I found it in Omega XL. The stuff works, and it has 30 years of research to prove it. Omega XL is a powerful natural anti-inflammatory supplement that helps relieve joint and muscle pain. There's nothing like it. Omega XL has health benefits way beyond joint comfort. Here's another reason I take Omega XL. Research shows that it can rebalance inflammation in the body and promote a healthy immune system, vitally important. So, Please do two things today for yourself. Stay close to your loved ones and order Omega XL, the supplement that can deliver pain relief while improving your overall health. Order now and get a second bottle absolutely free of charge. Please go to OmegaXL.com slash Bill. That's Omega, the letters XL, dot com slash Bill. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 245 years ago today, George Washington was appointed commander of the Revolutionary Forces by the Continental Congress. According to the official record, Washington was unanimously elected by the Philadelphia politicians. Three weeks later, George took command of the ragtag group of farmers, militia members, and shopkeepers in Cambridge, Massachusetts. His first impression of the Continental Army was not exactly great. In a letter sent to Congress, Washington described the group as, quote, a mixed multitude of people under very little discipline, order, or government. So he went to work. Soon, George Washington had an army numbering 27,000 men. He even established an underground spy network of local merchants in Boston using invisible ink to exchange messages without the Redcoats catching on. 
After eight long years, Washington's motley crew won the war. A short time later, he was elected the first president of the United States again. The decision was unanimous. Today, more than 100 cities in America are named in George Washington's honor, including our nation's capital, as you know. Dozens of memorials exist outside the USA in places like Mexico, the UK, France, Thailand, and Peru. But here's something you might not know. Fast forward a couple of hundred years, and Washington is not a popular guy in some precincts anymore. The death of George Floyd in Minneapolis has reignited arguments over America's monuments, and not just the Confederate ones. Now, some radicals are trying to remove statues of our founding fathers. Petitions exist to bring down memorials all across the country, even the Washington Monument in D.C. One online campaign describes the structure as a, quote, celebration of a slave-owning white general. It's time to take down this racist symbol, unquote. Holding historical figures to modern standards is foolish. The history books are filled with complicated men and women who endured hardship but achieved success. A person should be judged on the totality of his or her life. Back after this. When you venture outside, face coverings may be required, and the kind of face cover you use matters a lot. The Boomer Naturals Protective Face Cover is a recommended covering for both adults and children with three cloth layers infused with nano-silver technology. It reduces particles getting to your nose and mouth. The Boomer Naturals Face Covering is comfortable, easy to breathe, easy to speak, and made for excellent protection. They are in stock right now and will ship to you from the Boomer U.S. Warehouse the face covers can be used up to 30 days when you hand wash with soap and water, making them very affordable. Order yours today at BoomerNaturals.com. And if you use the code BILL20 at checkout, you'll save 20%. Please go to BoomerNaturals.com, your source for excellent face covers. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.